Hi, this is Teacher Liz. Today's lesson is about volcanic eruptions. This lesson addresses the following most essential learning competency. Explain what happens when volcanoes erupt. Narito ang ating mga objectives. Una, compare explosive and effusive eruptions. Pangalawa, explain how the composition of magma affect eruptions. At pangatlo, differentiate the types of volcanoes and styles of volcanic eruption. Consider the following questions and try to answer them as you watch this video lesson. Maaari mo ring ipause ang video na ito para kopyahin ang mga tanong bago tayo mag-proceed. Ano ba ang mangyayari kapag inalog natin ng isang bote ng soft drinks? Well, ang boteng ito ay naglalaman ng liquid na may dissolved carbon dioxide. Kapag nishake natin ang bote, the dissolved carbon dioxide will turn into bubbles of gas, increasing the pressure inside the bottle. At kapag binuksan natin ito, the gases suddenly expand, causing the bubbles to come out of the bottle. A volcanic eruption is like soda fizzing out of a bottle. And in this lesson, we will learn why and how volcanic eruptions occur. Our first question, are all volcanic eruptions alike? Pare-pareho nga ba ang pagputok ng mga vulkan? At kapag ba sinabing volcanic eruptions, may pasabog na ba agad? The answer is no. Some eruptions are quiet or effusive, while some are explosive. Kapag sinabi natin effusive, it is also known as quiet or non-explosive eruption. And it is the most common type of eruption. Ito ay nagpo-produce ng kalmadong pagdalo ng lava. And it releases huge amounts of lava but less ash and dust. Narito ang example ng isang quiet eruption na naglalabas ng kalmadong lava flow. 70% ng volcanic eruptions sa Earth ay nangyayari sa ilalim ng dagat. These eruptions are effusive or quiet lang and they produce most of the rock of the ocean floor. What about explosive eruption? It is less common but more destructive. It produces clouds of hot ash, gas, and rock fragments, and it does not produce lava flows. Ang isang explosive eruption ay naglalabas ng hot ash, gas, at rock fragments, collectively known as pyroclastic materials, making them more destructive o mas mapanira kesa sa quiet or effusive eruptions. Ang magma ay maaaring lumabas sa dalawang anyo, bilang lava o bilang pyroclastic material. Lava is magma that flows onto the Earth's surface and it is produced by effusive or non-explosive eruptions. Pyroclastic material, on the other hand, is hardened magma that is blasted into the air. Ito yung tumigas na magma na sumasama sa pagsabog ng vulkan. It is produced by explosive eruptions. Tandaan na ang isang vulkan ay hindi pwedeng maglabas ng lava at pyroclastic material ng sabay. Pero dahil ang isang vulkan ay maaaring tumutok ng maraming beses sa pagdaan ng panahon, maaari itong maglabas ng lava sa ibang eruption niya at pyroclastic material naman sa ibang panahon. Isang halimbawa nito ay ang Bulkang Mayon na nagkaroon ng explosive eruption noong 1984 at effusive eruption naman noong 2018. And so let's consider our second question. What makes a volcanic eruption effusive or explosive? Bakit nga ba tayo nagkakaroon ng volcanic eruption na effusive or explosive? The answer lies in the composition of magma. Magma contains water and silica. At yung amounts ng tubig at silica ay nakaka-apekto sa pagdami ng bubbles or gas na siyang nagdedetermine ng type of eruption kung ito ba ay magiging explosive or effusive. Beneath the surface, magma is under high pressure dahil na rin sa mataas na temperatura sa loob. At dahil sa taas ng pressure, yung tubig o water content ng magma ay nade-dissolve o kumahalo mismo sa magma. 
kapag nag-build up yung pressure sa loob, the magma will rise and the pressure will suddenly decrease, turning water into bubbles of gas. As the gas expand, they will cause an explosion. Kaya naman, mas maraming tubig, mas maraming mabubuong bubbles of gas at mas explosive ang eruption. Maiahalin tulad natin ito sa soft drinks na naglalaman ng maraming dissolved carbon dioxide. Another composition of magma that affects volcanic eruption is silica. Silica is a compound made of elements silicon and oxygen. Kung ang magma ay thick, ibig sabihin mataas ang silica content o mas malapot ito. Sa Ingles, it is more viscous. Kung ang magma naman ay thin, ibig sabihin mababa ang kanyang silica content o medyo malabnaw. Sa Ingles, ito ay less viscous. And when you say viscous, it is about the viscosity of magma or its resistance to flow. Ibig sabihin, the more viscous the magma, the slower it flows. The less viscous the magma, the runnier or the faster it flows. Kapag ang magma ay malapot or thick, may chance itong tumigas sa loob at ito ang pipigil sa paglabas ng magma. Kumbaga magiging barado ang vent which will increase the pressure below. And if enough pressure builds up, the volcano can explode. Thus, more silica means thicker magma, which means more explosive eruption. In summary, more silica and more water content results to explosive eruption. Finally, our third question, what are the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruptions? Meron tayong tatlong types of volcanoes base sa hugis at sa material na kanilang inilalabas. We have shield volcanoes, cinder cone volcanoes, and composite volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are formed when layers of lava from many non-explosive eruptions build up. Ibig sabihin, ito ay binubuo ng patong-patong na lava na napuproduce ng effusive eruptions. Mapapansin natin na ang shield volcanoes ay may malawak na base o paanan at hindi rin ito gaanong kataasan. It forms a shape like that of a shield, kaya nga siya tinawag na shield volcano. For example, Mauna Kea in Hawaii is a shield volcano. Next is cinder cone volcano. Cinder cone volcanoes are made of pyroclastic materials produced from explosive eruptions. They are mostly found in clusters, and an example of this is the Taal Volcano Complex which is composed of 47 craters. Finally, the most common type of volcano, and that is composite volcanoes. They have layers of lava flows and pyroclastic materials. Ito ay tinatawag na composite dahil ito ay nubuo ng dalawang magkaibang bagay, lava and pyroclastic material. It also means that they are formed when a volcano erupts both explosively and non-explosively over time. Mount Mayon is an example of a composite volcano. Lastly, we also have what we call volcanic eruption styles. Volcanoes can also be classified according to their style of the eruption. These are listed in order of increasing degree of explosiveness. First is Icelandic. It is characterized by lava flow along a linear vent or fissure. This is an example of Icelandic volcanic eruption in Iceland. Next is the Hawaiian. It is characterized by fluid lava being ejected from a vent as fire fountains or lava flows. An example of this is the Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii, which is an spectacular example of fire fountaining. Next is the Strombolian, which involves frequent outbursts of lava fragments. This is an example of a Strombolian type of eruption with rains of lava bombs. 
fourth is the Vulcanian, which involves moderate explosions of gas and volcanic ash. This mixture forms dark, turbulent eruption clouds that rapidly ascend and expand in convoluted shapes. Fifth is the Pelean, which is associated with explosive outbursts that generate pyroclastic flows of volcanic fragments and gas. They are extremely destructive because the pyroclastic flows pour down to valleys and slopes at great velocities. And finally, the Plinian type of volcanic eruption, which is the intensely violent kind. They form a tall convection eruption column of a mixture of gas and rock particles and can cause wide dispersion of ash. An example of a strong Plinian eruption was the 1991 Pinatubo explosion in Zavales, which is also known as the second largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century. Okay, and now let's recap what you have learned. It's time to check yourself, identify what is being asked in the following statements. If you got it all perfect, congratulations! And if not, you can always go back to any part of this video lesson and restudy. I hope you have learned a lot from today's session. Thank you very much for tuning in. And up next is about energy from volcanoes. Once again, this is Teacher Liz. See you next time and have a great day.